Rachel, did you know that there are two cities called Birmingham? Really? I know the one in the UK, but where's the other one? It's in the USA, in the state of Alabama. OK. Are the cities very small? Not really. One big difference is the population. There are only 243,000 people living in Birmingham, USA, whereas there are over a million in Birmingham, UK. So Birmingham, UK is bigger then? Well, no. The area of Birmingham, UK is 165 square kilometres, while Birmingham, USA covers 243 square kilometres. Oh, that's quite big. Yes, but there aren't as many people. Birmingham, USA is also very green. And our Birmingham isn't very green. Yes. And, of course, there's also a big difference in age. Birmingham, UK was already a small village as early as the 7th century, while Birmingham, USA didn't exist until 1871. Right. What about the weather? It's always raining over here, so the weather is probably better in Birmingham, USA. No, you're wrong. There are 1,371 millimetres of rain in Birmingham, USA, and only half of that in Birmingham, UK, 662 millimetres. Wow, that's a surprise. Yes, but it's hotter over there. The average temperature in Birmingham, UK is only 13 degrees, whereas in Birmingham, USA, it's 23 degrees. That's 10 degrees warmer. So why are you telling me all this anyway? I'm reading an article in the newspaper. Ah. It's about a mistake that they made in Birmingham. That's our Birmingham, not theirs. What happened? They made an advert for Birmingham, UK, but they used the wrong photo. They put a photo of Birmingham, USA on the advert instead of Birmingham, UK. No. <laughs> How funny. Yes, I thought so too. One. I enjoy reading in bed. Two. Have you finished cleaning up your room? Three. I want to go on working until I'm 60. Four. I hate being late when I'm meeting someone. Five. I like having breakfast in a cafe. Six. I love waking up on a sunny morning. Seven. I don't mind doing the ironing. It's very relaxing. Eight. She spends hours talking on the phone. Nine. It started raining at 5.30 in the morning. Ten. Please stop making that noise. I can't think. Eleven. I don't feel like cooking today. Let's go out for lunch. We were on holiday in July. We traveled to Spain by plane. We landed at the airport in Malaga. A man checked our passports and then we waited for our luggage. Soon, the bags and suitcases started to arrive. Mum and Dad's bag was first. Then my sister Claire shouted, There's our suitcase! We didn't check the label. We just grabbed it and then followed Mum and Dad with all of our luggage on a trolley. When we arrived at our hotel, we started to unpack. Mum and Dad opened their bag and Claire tried to open our suitcase. Is this the right key? she asked. I can't open it. Then we looked at the name on the label. It wasn't our suitcase. Mum phoned the airport. Our bag was still there. There was a very angry man there too. Dad wasn't happy because we needed a taxi to take the other passenger's suitcase back to the airport and collect our suitcase. Hi, welcome to my house. I'm Emma. 
And this is my best friend. Her name's Polly. This is my mum and dad's car. We're in our garden now. That's my brother Jake over there with his friend Connor. Jake's the boy with short, dark hair. They're playing with our dog, Benji. Connor lives next door, so he's our neighbour too. And these are my parents. Their names are Peter and Susan. Hello, sir. Welcome to New Orleans. How can I help you? Yes, uh, I'm in New Orleans for a day. What can I do here? Oh, a lot of things. You can play golf or you can take a boat trip. Hmm. Is it expensive? Well, it isn't cheap. Okay. What else? Can I go to the art museum? No, you can't. We have a museum, but it isn't open today. Mm, that's too bad. Yes. You can also walk in the park, or you can go to the aquarium. The aquarium? That's interesting. Yeah. You can see fish, penguins, sea lions, and more. How much is a ticket? Twenty-one dollars, and you can buy a ticket here. Great. Here's twenty-five dollars. Thank you. Here's your change. Oh, can I buy food at the aquarium? No, you can't. But you can buy food here. OK. Thanks very much. Welcome to Novak, John. Hi, Pete. Good to see you again. How's everything? Oh, fine, thanks. What about you? Very busy right now. A lot of traveling. Yes, I can see that. Can I take your coat? Thanks. Would you like something to drink? A coffee? A cold drink? Yeah, I'd like a coffee, please. Oh, Elena, uh, can you bring us two coffees, please? Thanks. Well, John, we've got a lot to do today. Shall I begin with the program? Yes, OK. Uh, oh, could you give me a couple of minutes? I need to make a call. Of course. Go ahead. What are you doing? I'm waiting for the bus. Where are you going? To the sports centre. Oh, is Mickey going with you? No, he isn't. Two. What are you eating? A sandwich. Are you watching TV? Yes, I am. What are you watching? It's a programme about dinosaurs. OK. What do I have to do today? First, I have to finish my science homework. Uh, then, I have to pack my sports bag for tomorrow. Mm, I cleaned my boots yesterday, so I don't have to do that. And then... I have to meet Owen in town at two o'clock. So, that's not too bad. An easy day, so... Josh! Yes, Mum? Are you going to take the dog for a walk this morning? Oh, OK. And don't forget to tidy your room before you go out. All right. <sighs> there goes my easy day. One. What do you do, Wendy? I'm a lawyer. That's great. Where do you work? I work in an office downtown. Do you like your job? No, I don't. I work Monday to Friday and Saturday. Two. Are you here on vacation, Sonia? Yes, I am. I'm from Boston. What do you do in Boston? I'm a waitress. That's great. Yes, I like it. I don't work in the mornings. Three. Where do you work, Brad? I work in a school near here. Oh? 
Are you a teacher? No, I'm not. I'm an assistant. Do you like your job? Yes, I do. The people are great. Four. Where do you work, Mark? I work at a hospital downtown. Oh, are you a doctor? Well, uh, I'm a nurse. Oh, okay. That's good. Do you like it? No, I don't. I work very late in the evenings. Speaker 1 My bag is very important to me because I have my laptop in it. I also have some files and a pen. Um, I have my mobile, my wallet and my keys in my pocket, but I sometimes have a newspaper in my bag. Speaker 2 Well, in my bag I have uh, my books for the day, um, some pens and pencils to write with, and a file with lots of paper. Oh, and I have my iPod and my headphones too, so I can listen to music. Speaker 3 What's in my bag? Well, yeah, I have my sunglasses and my camera, and I have a guidebook with a map. Oh, and I have a Spanish-English dictionary, too, to help me understand the people. Speaker 4 I have a different bag every day. Sometimes it's red, sometimes it's white. It depends. But I always have the same things. Some tissues, um, the keys to my desk, uh, my purse, of course, and uh, sometimes a magazine to read.